so guys i am back welcome back to my channel i know it's been like two and a half long years i look so cross-eyed because i'm looking at myself but like the camera's right here but currently i am in the garage waiting for my car to get driven up to me so i can go in and start doing my runarounds um this year i'm just gonna be bringing so much content so much things that i know you guys been missing i've been missing you guys so much it's crazy like i've been gone for so long and i'm finally back so it just feels good to be back i've been dreading this for so long and been putting it on hold and i was like in a big depression and i was just going through so much and i finally feel like i'm at the place where I'm out of that depression. I'm in the gym six days a week now. I'm eating healthy. I'm detoxing the body every chance that I get. So stay tuned. We're vlogging all the way up until my birthday. We're getting birthday ready. I'm about to go get these eyebrows done, this little mustache threaded. And we're just gonna follow me on this entire journey. See you guys soon. All right, so I finally got my car. We are inside of my car now I no longer have the Honda I was on YouTube when I wasn't even driving honestly um, yeah did I have a car at that time I definitely didn't but once I left YouTube I started off with the Nissan Altima after my Nissan Altima I went to a Honda Accord then I just gave my Honda up sometime last year, and now I'm in a Mercedes-Benz. It's cool. It's a little too small. But um, it was just time for change. I think I like to spend money on cars. Like, cars is becoming my things that I notice. And um, what else is becoming my thing? Surgery's always been my thing, as you guys know. So that's nothing new. Um, Yeah, so as I was saying, I was going through... A very deep depression from being in a toxic relationship, um, moving away from home and not being around my family and my mom and stuff like that. Like that definitely took a toll on me. Um, but I'm back. I feel better. I'm looking better. Not right now, but like I said, I'm about to go see my eyebrow lady. She's about to go get me together. Today is Monday, Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday. So shout out to Martin Luther King Jr. Happy birthday. And my birthday is on Friday, January 19th. And you guys will be seeing this video already because I'm dropping it on my birthday. So it's giving vlog all the way up until my birthday. I'm trying to bring you guys some exciting content. I know you're like, girl, you've been gone for two and a half years. So we need something exciting from you. We don't want to see the same stuff. So I got y'all. Like, I'm going to try my best to be the best content creator ever in 2024 and i definitely just want to say thank you so much for always supporting me like each and every single one of you guys 71,087 people are subscribed to my channel right now and honestly i would not be where i am if it wasn't for you so i'm just so appreciative of all the love and support that i get i'm trying to find the word but just unlimited support from you guys like y'all don't understand how it feels to have everything one day and in a blink of an eye you can literally lose everything the next day like life is so humbling like you can go from just your bank account being so big to you having zero dollars you can go from a luxury apartment to being in the shelter like not saying that that's my story but i'm just saying the more beloved is life is just so humbling and you just have to be humble at all times because whatever God gives you, he can also take away. And this is like the biggest lessons that I've learned these past two and a half years while being off of YouTube. So this year, I just want to come back. I want to come back hard. I want to give you guys content. I feel like if I never stopped or I never let people get in my ear and tell me that my content wasn't good or people don't want to see me just talk all day to a camera I probably could have been way further than where I am now. Um, you just never know where I could have been. I definitely just, probably just would have been in a better space. Like if I had the right people surrounding me. So with that being said, got to go get these eyebrows done. 
I'm about to go get this little mustache threaded. Um, and my nail, not my nail, my eyebrow lady, she's amazing. Her name is No Sheen. She's an Indian small little lady. And I realized, not to put her business out there, but I realized she was balding. So I asked her, we called each other friends. She knows my name, I know her name, but we say my friend. So I'm like, hi, my friend, how's everything? And I'm like, I noticed that, you know, you're balding on top. Like, is everything okay? Why? Are, like, what's going on? And she was like, um, yeah, you know, I lost my hair. Um, just me getting older with age, but she's not that old. I would give her, like, her 40s or 50s, but she's just been losing a lot of hair. And I'm like, well, next time I come, you always do my eyebrows so good. Like you always make me feel so confident in who I am and you make me look amazing. So I just want to return the favor and just do the same for you. So next time I come, I'm going to bring you some um, oil that I use for my hair and I'll give it to you and you can use it. And she was like, oh my God, my friend, thank you so much. I use castor oil right now. I'm like, yeah, I heard about castor oil. It's not too good, but I'm going to get you right. So I'm on my way to the beauty supply store to buy that for her. Then I'm going to go get my eyebrows done. And then I'm about to go pick up some hair. And then drop it off to my hairstylist. Because my hair appointment is tomorrow in the morning. Then I got to go home. I got to dye my real hair because we're doing a leave out. Like, it's just a lot in so little time. But we're going to make it work. And I'm going to take you guys every step of the way. So, again, just thank you guys for holding it down. Loving me the way I do. Aubrey gang up in here. We outside 2024. We very active. Always on YouTube. Yeah, so I'm back. Like, doesn't my eyebrow lady just get the job done? Like, I was in so much pain because I let them grow out for two weeks. But, like, look how more feminine I look now. Like, and then I have her cut the hair down because I don't like it too dark. I'd be in the house shaving it myself and... We're letting this part grow. But, like, she threads the mustache. Like, I just look so much more feminine right now. I feel like it looks amazing. I'm going to go back on Wednesday and go and get my lashes done. I want to try something different, too. But, uh, I'm just so in love with this. Like, this looks amazing. I don't know why my skin's been breaking out. But I've been on this full body detox now for, like, the last three weeks. Before that, it was like drinking every day in the house of my friends, nothing but juices and sodas, which was very unhealthy. Um, but yeah, the past three weeks, I've been cleaning out my entire system. I've been going to the gym six days a week. So my body is like fully hydrated now. I'm removing all toxins out of my body. And um, yeah, so far so good. I'm still using skincare products. I'm still using some of my skincare products. We'll get into all of that as well later on down the line. But I'm about to go buy my hair, um, see what they're talking about. Then I'm going to go drop this hair off. I just bought some hair dye. This is what I'm going to be doing to my hair. So I got two boxes of magenta. And then I'm going to go in with a cherry cola rinse and a black cherry rinse and mix all of that into the bowl. I'm gonna dye it first, of course, but while the dye's in my hair and all over the hair, I'm going to put the rinses on top of the dye. And then it should give you that like richy, burgundy-ish, bright, vibrant red. Not bright, but like rich color looking burgundy red that I'm going for. Cause this is like a little faded out if you can see the back. But so much been go like so much has been going on. Um, it's definitely bittersweet recording again because I haven't been in front of the camera in so long. Like, I just feel like I lost all of my confidence. I feel like I haven't been feeling so pretty. Like, some days when I decide to get done and my hair is done, it's like, okay, work. Like, you look like a baddie now. Like, bad bitch activated again. But other times, it's just like you lost it or just things that I used to hear someone tell me. And it's just like, damn, like, mm-mm. But... I'm back, like, so whether I'm uncomfortable in front of this camera right now and I haven't done it in forever, we're here, we're gonna keep on doing it. We're not giving up, foot on everyone's necks, 2024. 
So I'm a little irritated because I just drove 45 minutes to this hair store that one of my friends told me to go to. And I feel like you just know good hair when you know good hair. And that hair was given like puffy Barbie doll hair. And I'm used to like that raw, that raw type of feel. Like you just know good hair when you know good hair. So I wound up leaving and I said, no, thank you. So I think I'm gonna just buy the hair for my hairstylist. Like I normally do, which I don't know why I wasn't even trying to get the hair from him to be honest. But I was really just going for that raw look. I had ordered like $800, $900 worth of hair. I think it became, it was like $870 something. I ordered that from Kendra Boutique and it's still shipping and I got to get my hair done tomorrow morning and it's not here yet. So I'm really just over that. Like she played a nasty game. So I don't know what I'm going to do whenever I do receive the hair. If I receive the hair sometime this week or next week. But um, yeah, I'm going to just do everything like I normally do. Get everything from my um, hair stylist. Hold on because this man is trying to back me up. Hold on. Like don't block me in sir. I'm going to just get um the hair from my hair stylist like I normally do. So right now I'm about to head to the city and go pick up my AirPod Max or AirPod Pro Maxes. I just bought my iPad yesterday. So I placed the order for the keyboard today as well as the headphones and the screen protector for it. I had one already that my previous partner had bought me, but federal government came and took that. So I was asked out of that. I had to go buy me a brand new phone. I actually got two phones. So I got this one. I got the one that I'm on right now. Now I got my iPad. So yeah, I'm about to go pick this stuff up and then see where the rest of the day takes me. Do you guys wanna follow? All right, is it on? <clears throat> is the camera on? So I'm here in my car. I went to go pick up a few things. Like I said, I was going to, um, <clears throat> I just left ramen. So I hate this lighting, this lighting is horrible. Oh, this ain't one either. There we go. So I just left my favorite ramen spot. Um, it's amazing ramen. One of my friends had put me on to ramen. And ever since then, I've been like so hooked. But I told you guys I was going to get some goodies. So I got my AirPod Max in space gray. Yep, space gray. I just bought the iPad, I told y'all yesterday. I got the amazing keyboard in black as well. I want like everything to be blackish space gray. I'm in like my, <clears throat> not demonic, what's the word? My, not anemic, anemic is cold. What's the word? Oh, my emo, <clears throat> my emonic era. So like everything is just real dark, like dark coat, dark shirt. And then I got a screen protector. So <clears throat> I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna set everything up. The gym was closed today, unfortunately, so I couldn't go. But I'm feeling really great. Like, I just feel like I'm overwhelmed. Oh, I made another purchase today. I was going to record in the store, but there was security and everything, so. It wouldn't be me if I didn't treat myself. I think I'm aware of that though in the video. <clears throat> and of course, like my birthday picture and everything and that stuff. So yeah. Um, but nonetheless, I just feel amazing. Like it really feels good to just be back, like to express myself and really just talk my shit and just do that one. Like People are looking at me like I'm crazy because all of this light is in the car. Everyone's like, oh, what is she doing? I'm a YouTuber. I'm a content creator. That's what's going on. So, again, I just feel good. Um, if y'all don't know, I'm on a curfew. So, I only got 12 hours outside. <clears throat> and I got 12 hours inside. So, I could be outside from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. And after 8 p.m., I have to be in that house. Like, at 8 o'clock, 7.59, 8 o'clock, 00, dot, dot. I got to be my feet in that house. I have an ankle monitor on, which I can't really show right now because I'm going to have to move everything. Like, 
comes on. Y'all see the ink on it up? See how it's lighting up? <clears throat> so it's tracking me everywhere I go, making sure I don't leave the state of New York City. But we're gonna get into all of that. We're gonna get into all of that. So I'm doing a Q&A, aside from like this vlogging and me getting my hair done, my eyebrows done, mustache wax, um, lashes and facial and all of that. <clears throat> aside from all of that, um, I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna do a Q&A on Wednesday. I gave Instagram a chance to ask whatever they want to ask, to write me anything they want to write me, and I'm going to answer everything truthfully, honestly, 110% <clears throat> transparent. Like, y'all just know me. I'm going to give it to y'all real. I'm going to give it to y'all raw. Um, and I'm not going to sugarcoat nothing. Like, if people don't like what I got to say, so be it. I'm not sparing no one's feelings. I spare people's feelings enough in 2021, 2022, 2023. I'm back. I'm better. Ain't nothing stopping me. So let's do that one. I think I'm done for the day right now because ain't nothing really else going on tonight for me. So we'll be back at it tomorrow. Oh, because I didn't get the hair. I want to write in my hairstylist and just let him know, like, let me know what you got. If you could find me some raw hair, just do it. Like, I'll pay whatever. Don't even matter. Or if you just got other hair that, you know, you can just give me whatever i'll pay for that too like just let me know the different prices or whatever it is that you got i'm thinking of like five bundles of 24 inches because i'm real short like i'm five four and 75 quarters or five five and three quarters four five four three quarters five five type shit so i'm really short so 26 inch hair is like past my ass crack and everything so i'm not really trying to go for that like i want something that i can maintain plus i'm in the gym so i definitely want to be able to pull it up and pin it up and be able to work out i don't want to i just don't want all of that i'm good i cut my real hair my real hair is extremely short like it's like bob lane i'm gonna drop a picture in here too If you haven't already follow, uh, if you haven't already followed me on IG, I put all my links on YouTube. They got some new thing now where you can click different links or add different links to your YouTube channel so people can find you. So my YouTube link, I mean my IG link is there, my OnlyFans link is there, my Facebook link is there, and I'm new to TikTok and my TikTok link is there as well. So. Like I said, I'm coming back. We're doing better. We're doing greater things. 2024. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I'm getting my hair done. We're going to sit down on Wednesday. We're going to sip some tea. We're going to talk. And we're just answering everything. I'm transparent. I'm going to be the realest that it ever gets. Like, no filter. Skin is great. No sugar coating. Nothing for no one. Eyebrows, great. Let's do that one. And yeah, just stay tuned. See you guys tomorrow. All right, guys, good morning. I look nasty right now. Um, I was up to like four in the morning last night, dyeing my hair for my hair appointment later on today. But I'm just getting up. Didn't even wash my face to brush my teeth. I'm just trying to give it to you raw real quick. Um, so this is basically what my morning consists of. It's just snowing outside. It's just crazy. Tuesday, January 16th. Um, I wake up. I make my pre-workout with my C4 and a bottle of water. Got my water right here. Got my powder over there. I do a cup of Moringa bitters. It's horrible, it tastes like shit, smells like shit, but it cleans out your entire system. Again, it prevents colon disorder, indigestion, obesity, cancer, diabetes, Amnia, chronic fatigue, high blood pressure, weakened immune system. A friend had put me onto that, so I take a cup of that two times a day, one in the morning, one at night. And I also do this black seed oil, one in the morning, one at night, and I actually mix it into the cup with the Moringa bitter so I can just take everything down at once. Um, I told you guys I was on a 14 day detox. This is the detox. And I got like three more days left, four pills during the morning, four pills at night before bed. So, that's just my morning routine. I'm about to go in the bathroom, wash my face, brush my teeth, and I'll let you guys see how I look once I'm ready for the gym. All right, so I am all dressed for the gym. It is snowing outside. I'm using my new headphones. Um, 
Okay, there we go. I need to put something on my head, I see, because it's like raining a little bit. But I'm just walking around the corner to go and grab my car. I took my detox. I got my C4 workout, my little granola bar that I'm gonna snack on on the way to the gym. And I'm not gonna be at the gym too long today because I have to go get my hair done by my favorite person ever. So with that being said, yeah. I'm getting my hair done, but I gotta stop by the Africans and get braided first because he doesn't braid. Then I'll make my way to him. So, yeah, we're going to do that one. Then tomorrow, I'm going to book my facial. And I'm trying to see if I want to get my makeup done for the video so I can, like, really look cute. But I'm not sure. I know I need something on my head, though. Because this is crazy. Featuring the Amazon worker. He wanted to be in the video. But yes, I'll see y'all when I get out the gym. I do got a few videos of me working out. I could throw that in here too. Show y'all what I do a little bit. So, I'll definitely see y'all when I get back. My arm hurt from holding this shit. So yeah, do that one. Make your day active. So we're back. We're in my hairstylist house now. Um, don't mind the background. He's leaving out the country tomorrow, which is why this was the only day that I could catch him. So I went to the gym. I worked out for about two hours, which was amazing. I feel so good. After the gym, I went to the Africans, just left, getting my hair braided. So we're doing like a middle part with a micro link at the top so that the hair can be all the way in the front and so that you don't see my short hair blending in. Um, we're gonna do some leave out on the side all the way around the back as well, which is this first braid that you see. And yeah, he's just gonna be getting me together. I haven't seen my babe in so long, so I'm happy to be back with him and just, you know, chat shit up like we normally do. Drink some coffee, drink some water, and pop out shit. So just stay tuned, watch the process. He's actually dyeing the hair right now. So, you know, we gotta get the perfect color to go with it. And yeah, let's do that one. I'll be right back. So this is my hairstylist, Joelle. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's still recording. It's still oh, recording. Sure. But um, yeah, as y'all see, he's still sewing me in. And I don't know how he does it every time, but he literally gets the exact same color. Like, only thing I did was just send a photo. He's like, bet, babe, I got you. And then he did it. And also, if y'all don't know, this is Cardi B's hairstylist. But he was my hairstylist first. Let me just put that out there. Like, love you too, Cardi. But... He was definitely my hairstylist first, and now yeah. he's on tour with her, doing her hair, her dancer's hair, and everything. So, you know, he's lit. He's a vibe. I'm going to tag his um, IG so y'all can definitely book him. He's definitely a little coinsy, but I promise you, like, the hair is amazing. The installs lasts me months. Even his frontals, them shits be on for, like, three weeks. Like, he does his thing, so... See my stylist, shout him out, check him out, come see him, come get right. And we're going to let y'all see the final product when everything is done. So we're literally rushing because we have like 10 
to 11 more minutes before I got to be home. We got one more track up here. And then we're going to do a micro link all the way up to the front. Then we just got to blend the leave out real quick. And then, yeah, I should be on my way. Style it real quick. <laughs> like, we're just rushing. It's crazy. I called my PO, asked for an extension, but she's been a real vieja lately. Yeah. And, yeah, she's not trying to give me no extra time, but y'all see what's going on. So it's like five bundles, five and a half bundles. Real full. Real full. Never the thin one. <laughs> we'll be right back. I'm literally running to my car. Like, I couldn't even get my hair styled because I'm late. Like, it's 8.30 and I'm running. Oh, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go. I'll see you guys when I get in the house. So I'm literally just getting home. Like, I need to prop this camera up. But I'm literally just getting home. And it's like now 8.50, 8 8.52, 8.54. Let me see. No, that's not good. All right, right here, whatever. I'm literally just getting home. It's now like 8.53, 8.52. And I received a text message from my parole officer like, you're not able to do whatever you want to do. The world doesn't revolve around you. I already told you no, that you weren't permitted to be extended. Um, and you're continuously doing whatever you want to do. And it's like, I understand that I wasn't granted permission, but I couldn't leave this chair without getting my hair completely done. Like he, my hairstylist leaves at four in the morning to go to DR and he's out of town. So who else would have finished my hair? And I also let her know that this is work related. Like I'm coming back to YouTube. You guys want me to find some type of employment. I have YouTube. I never mentioned that I was making a YouTube video, but as you guys know, what's going to be in this video, I've been recording for three days, two days now, 48 hours. So she just sent me a threatening text messages basically. And what I feel like is going to happen now is like, she's going to contact New Jersey like the district courts or whatever district attorney's office and the judge and let them know like I broke my curfew again and I violated my curfew and she told me that I she told them that I violated my curfew before because I had texted her phone one time and I asked her like hey can I stay out late da 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 for work and she never responded to me so then I emailed the place that you email when you have to stay late for work and I told them that I was going to be late because I'm coming from work um and I needed till 11 o'clock because my curfew was originally nine. So they said, okay, no problem. Just let your PO know. She contacted me a day or two later. Like, I thought you told me that you quit your job. For your, for those of y'all who don't know, I did get a job because I'm mandated to get a job. I was working in TJ Maxx for about four months. I started in June, July, August, September, October. Yeah. I started in June or July, so I was working in TJ Maxx for about three to four months. And I liked it. Like, they worked with me with my schedule and stuff. But I was standing up for eight hours, ten hours a day. Like, literally on cashier, just standing. No seats, 30-minute, 15-minute breaks. Like, it was just a lot. So I decided to quit. Like, I know me. And sometimes I know, like, you know, I don't need a job. I know how to get some money. I can make a YouTube video. I have OnlyFans that pays me. Like, I get money. So... Getting a job wasn't really serious to me, but it was definitely serious to the court. So I had to do what I had to do to show them that, you know, I can get in that field and do what I can possibly do if they needed me to. So anyway, basically, they pushed my curfew back to nine o'clock because I lied and said I was staying at work and I wasn't staying at work anymore. And um, I had already quit. So she had called. She had came to my house and paid me a visit and everything was perfectly fine. We talked, I apologized and I was like, I'm sorry, but I did text your phone and I got no response. So I thought the next thing would do was to go to them and let them know, I'm like, all right, my PO didn't answer, but I got to stay late to work. Cool. I lied about it. Granted. So she left the house perfectly fine. She smiled. I smiled. Like we was talking, everything seemed regular. Later on that day, I received a phone call from my lawyer, like, kind of cursing me out. Like, what the fuck is going on, Aubrey? Like, are you kidding me right now? And I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, so there's nothing that you have to tell me? And I'm like, no, not necessarily. Like, is there something that you know that I don't know? And he's like, yeah, like, what is this that I hear that you violated your curfew? And I'm like, what are you talking about? He was like, yeah, your um, parole officer just called and told um, New Jersey that you violated your curfew. Like, how you want me to fight for you and do all of this for you? And you're out here violating your curfew after, um, no, you lied or whatever. And I'm like, well, yeah, I told them and I basically explained the situation to him. He was like, you cannot do that. Like, it's one thing if you were working and you did need time to 
stay at work but you wasn't working like you had no job and you just wanted to stay outside a little longer two hours later to go have some food and some drinks like that's not okay like don't let that shit happen again and I'm like all right like you got it I'm sorry like I understand completely ever since that day which was like a month and a half ago like the ending no like yeah that shit happened before Thanksgiving like two and a half months ago I've been in this house every day at 8 o'clock. No later than 8.02, 8.03. I swear to God. Like, I have to park my car a block and a half down from my crib. So I park the car, then I got to walk back to my building. So it's just like, damn, like, you can't even cut me no slack. Like, yeah, I texted and said I was getting my hair done for my birthday, which I am because the hairstyle is for my birthday. But at the same time, I'm working. Like, as you see, Joel, he's a celebrity hairstylist. Like, there's nothing to lie about. He does Cardi B's hair. He does, um, what's this girl name? Um, oh, my God. She's a new, um, she's a new, all right, all right. What's her name? And like the cheetah is her thing. Um, it's gonna come to me. It's gonna come to me. But um, yeah. Damn. Like now I gotta figure out what this lady's name is, because I know exactly who I'm talking about. But yeah, like that was just basically that, and I'm just like over here irritated because. I received a threatening text message and I don't like that. And I know the type of person that she is. And I know Victoria Monet. There we go. He does Victoria Monet's hair. He works with Ashanti. Um, who else has he worked with? He's worked with so many people in this industry already. Like, and so he's a celebrity hairstylist. And yes, again, we are collaborating. Like he's a hairstylist. I'm getting him out there. You know, he's recording me. He's getting me out there. Like we've been doing this. So for my return back on YouTube, I definitely wanted to shine the light on him and let people know like who's been doing my hair. Let people know that I'm getting my hair done by a celebrity hairstylist. Like he's in this field now. He's doing so. He did Tiana Taylor, daughter hair, Junie a few days ago. Like he's flying out the country to go work with some more people. Like he's literally on tour with these people. So I'm trying to explain that to her and I don't think she's really getting the point. So she's like, I'm done with this conversation. I'm done with this discussion. You don't listen. I specifically told you no and you did whatever you wanted to do. And it may come off and sound like that. But in reality, that's really not the case at all. Like I really didn't do what I wanted to do, but I couldn't get out that chair with my hair half done either. Who was going to finish the job? Like, you know, and um, again, I'm working. You said employment. This is employment. Like y'all want to see pay subs and all of this stuff, but... I'm not that fortunate to be in that field to get a pay stub. I mean, I can give you a statement from YouTube, which I have several times because I was still getting paid while not even posting and money was just still getting ran up. So, but I feel like she's going to contact New York, um, New Jersey tomorrow and it's just going to be a big thing. So I definitely just um, told my lawyer about it. So he's not blindsided this time. And I'm just like, just please don't let anything happen to me. Like... If they got to push my curfew back another hour now, like, granted, I understand, but this shit is not intentional. I'm literally just trying to work. Like, that's it. I got there at five o'clock. It takes time. Like, yes, I was braided and everything already, but he was dyeing the hair. The hair has to dry. We're recording before the process, like during the, um, during the sewing. And then he has to flat iron my leave out. He has to do micro links on the top. He has to stitch in the back. Like he has to cut it and frame around my face. Like it's just a lot of things that he has to do. And I just really wish that she could see it the way that I was seeing it. Cause I really wasn't trying to be disrespectful. Like if I was done early, trust me, I would have been home by before eight o'clock or by eight o'clock. Like I'm not the one just to break her through just to break it. And I think that that's what she's not understanding. Like I didn't do it intentional. I didn't do it just to do it. Like, no, like I was getting my hair done. I don't know how else to say it. Like I literally couldn't walk. I could have walked out that chair without my hair completely done, but I would have had braids on it. Like Joel was leaving. I'm not about to have him start something and then I'm missing like five tracks on top and now I have to go to something like that's No, I'm sorry. I don't know, but I'm... I kind of wish I just walked up out the chair at this point and just didn't finish. But um, I'm irritated. Like, I don't know what could happen now. I could be getting a mandatory meeting. They could possibly place me behind bars for violating curfew again. Like, this shit is irritating. Like, having an ankle monitor. Here we go. Having a big-ass ankle monitor. 
Like, come on. Literally. Having an ankle monitor on, five years probation and all of that. Like, I'm not used to this. This is not who I am. I'm not that type of person. I really don't feel like I deserve this. But, I mean, God is trying to sit me down and I have to sit down. And I'm okay with being sat down. Like, maybe I was running a little too wild. Maybe I was doing a little bit too much out there in the world. So, yeah, you got to sit down. I'm cool with that. I just asked literally for an extra hour, like 9 o'clock. How is that going to hurt y'all? And then I'm working on top of that. Like, this is what y'all wanted. I'm giving y'all what y'all wanted. Like, this is what I wanted, too. I wanted to get back to YouTube. But as far as work, y'all wanted to see money come in. Y'all wanted to see me do something productive with myself. And this is exactly what I'm doing. And I just feel like parole officers aren't your friend. They're not supposed to be your friend. They're supposed to make your life like hell and get on top of you and all of that, which I get it. Like, it's your job, but like, at least cut me some slack. Like, I've been nice. I've been respectful, which I'm supposed to, of course, because they have the authority over me and my freedom and my life and shit like that at this moment for the next five years. So, but just don't be petty. Like, don't be snobby. Don't be that one that's like, like, okay, you was getting your hair done. You was collaborating. Cool. Like, let it be that. Like, or call them like, yeah, she came in late, but she was working on YouTube. Like, understand where I'm coming from. You're representing me at the end of the day. Well, you're probably not representing me. You're representing the state. But you're, like, in control of this. Like, you could have chose your words differently. You could have spoke to me differently. Like, you know, you just could have did a lot of different things different. So, but again, I take full accountability for what I did. So, I just hope that I'm still here Friday on my birthday to upload this video i hope that this video is still able to get posted i hope nothing happens i guess i will keep you guys updated tomorrow i'm supposed to be going to get my lashes done individually i guess i have to go to the dominicans now and get a flat iron like it looks okay so far like you know it blends in perfectly fine my real hair is on top and everything i still got a braid right here which is also going to be the leave out for around and the back and stuff but um yeah, I'm just praying for like, like, all right, don't let it happen no more. Like she said, no, you were supposed to be home at that time, but we get it. You're doing YouTube. And I have all the evidence. Like this video is complete evidence that I've been literally working. Like I've been so excited to come back to YouTube. And it's like little things like this can just turn me off and make me not want to do certain things anymore. Like I was so excited. I couldn't wait to get back. Like I wanted to show the people like, oh yeah, she's here. She's doing this. Like, oh, she's back. We got her back. But it's like little things like this that's going on in my life it can turn me off and just discourage me like that shit makes me not want to do this no more like you know stuff like that like damn like something that was supposed to be so fun and entertaining and so happy and like a milestone in my life like oh she's back after two and a half years to know that like freedom could be taken away over me me being an hour late and stuff like that's crazy like but listen, we're going to get through this. We're going to push through this. Pray for me. Just let's hope like nothing goes wrong. I'm definitely going to pray tonight. I'm going to talk to God, which I do every night. Um, I'm about to shower. I'm straight from the gym to get my hair braided, then to get my hair done. So I'm going to shower, wash my face, watch some TV. I haven't even ate in dinner. The only thing I had all day today, that's why my lips keep getting ashy. I had like three bottles of water and a granola bar that I was eating earlier in the car. like, And that was at 12 o'clock. It is now 9 o'clock, like 9, yeah, it's like 9.02, 9.03. So I haven't had nothing to eat all day. Like, I just, I just want to make sure that I'm good and nothing happens to me. So thank y'all for watching. Stay tuned for like tomorrow's vlog day. I'm supposed to be going to get a face tomorrow. Hopefully that they got available appointments and stuff too. Um, yeah, I'm just praying for the best at this point, honestly. Like, I don't know. See you guys tomorrow. All right, guys. So, good morning. Can y'all see me? I got this little nightgown lingerie thing on that my mom had bought me. It was so cute. Um, So, I'm about to get my facial and stuff. I just wanted to walk you guys through everything, like I said. Um, I'm going to derma plan my face first. Because, yeah, I always derma plan. Um, as far as last night goes... I haven't heard back from my lawyer. I did reach out to him and let him know what was going on as far as, you know, me being late and stuff like that. And he has yet to respond to me. So hopefully he's taking care of all of that. 
my PO did text me back and I did beg her, like, please don't get me in any trouble. It really wasn't intentional. I was just trying to film my content and get back on YouTube and, you know, do what I had to do. And again, her response was just basically like, you know exactly what you was doing. I'm not really here to spare you. Um, like, yeah, your actions has consequences and that's just that. So basically she's giving, like, she's going to say something to the New Jersey attorneys and stuff like that. And again, hopefully my lawyer's just defending me and everything works out perfectly fine. So no news is good news. And yeah, I'm about to dermal clean my face and brush my teeth and get ready for my facial. Then I'm going to go get my lashes done. And then I'm going to go get my hair blown out and styled and stuff from the Dominicans. This hair is so good. Like, literally, all he did was just wash it. And you can tell how good the hair is. Like, it's shiny and everything. Like, we literally put no heat to this at all. So, my leave out is blending perfectly and everything. You just got to wait for it to get blown out completely. And yeah, so... Let's do that one. Sorry. So I don't have any more face formula, um, face wash. I still have my oil. I still have the serums and brushes and a few steamers and LED lights and stuff like that. So I definitely do have some stuff in stock. I'm just not selling at the moment, which I don't know why I should be. But, um, yeah. I'm definitely rebranding everything. It just all takes time. So. So you're gonna wet your face. And everyone's derma plan might be different. This is how I specifically do mine. Make sure all the coal is out your eyes. All right, so I wet my face. I'm gonna put a little bit of soap. And at the same time as you're derma planning, you're also cleaning and cleansing your face. So, I like to go as high as I possibly can, like up to the hairline, because I'm Spanish. And you know, Spanish people are definitely hairy. So, like, I be having sideburns that be coming, like, down here. I really don't grow facial hair at all. Like, I know I be saying that I got my mustache wax, which I did, but my mustache don't be thick at all. It's literally like, you know, you be looking and it be like little fine hairs. It's like the hairs on my face that I'm derma planting. Like, you can see like a little, little something like sticking off your face, so. But I like to be bald, like a bald nani. If some of y'all don't know what a bald nani is, it's a bald Nani. So, yeah. All right. And they do have specific scalpels for derma planning. But they also have little blades and stuff, too, for derma planning. They sell, they sell us at TJ Maxx. These are, like, eyebrow things, um, beauty supply stores. You can go and get them for a dollar. So what I do is I always start around the nose area and I scrape outward. And whenever you feel like the soap and stuff is drying up, just throw some water and it'll get soapy again. That's what you want. You need it on a soft, soapy surface. Some people use aloe. I have aloe too, but I always use soap, so I'm not gonna stop now. And then you just get the blade and you just scrape outward. Outward. And this blade is very sharp on the tip. This shit's been cutting me for the longest. I just haven't had time to go and get another I don't know if y'all can see, but y'all see that hair on there? That's like the black hair from my sideburns. But I'm redhead, so we need everything red. But these definitely get the job done. For sure. And today is the big day, so... Later on, my hair and everything will be done. 
I will be filming in my brother's house all of this content. And now he's inviting mad people over. Like, oh yeah, my little sister getting back on YouTube. She recorded her video in my house today. Like, come over for dinner. And I'm just like, bro, like, it wasn't that type of time. Like, I know you're happy for me. But, nigga, no one asked you to invite people over and watch me record my YouTube video. But... Nonetheless, he's just proud of his little sister for finally getting back out there. Just like a lot of you people are excited for me too. And I love that for that. Cause no shade, where would I be without every game? So basically you're just gonna do this all around your face. And no, I don't grow hair in all of these places that I'm shaving, but you just want to definitely make sure because sometimes the blade might see things that we don't see. So I'm going to finish shaving all around my face. And doing that, then I'm gonna wash my face again. This is like, if I'm not using the face formula, this is one of the best face washes that I use. It prevents breakout, um, hyperpigmentation, and all of that. So that's really good. I love that. Like, that's really my go-to. And I've also recently been using these turmeric pads to, like, brighten up these dark spots. But, you know, there's nothing like the face formula. The face formula would have been getting me together, but... I'll talk about that later on as well. I know a few people have asked a few questions about the face formula, so we're gonna definitely tune into everything, get into everything. And we're gonna do that one. All right, I'll be back. All right guys, so I'm dermaplanned. You can see like the texture of my skin looks smoother already. Like even from the side, you don't see no little fine hairs. My neck. Hold on, it's a little night light. I think. I got like a little something right here, a little pimple. From what I have no idea. But anyway, I just washed my face. They don't recommend that you put anything on your face before going, but you're gonna they're gonna make you wash your face when you get there anyway. So I'm gonna just do a little toner pad just so that my face doesn't feel too dry. So I wipe the forehead in like a half circle on each side. And then coming from the cheeks, I go up under the eyebrow, and then up. Then I go down. And as much as y'all miss the face formula and stuff, trust me, if y'all think y'all are missing it, I'm definitely missing it. So, it's not like I'm just giving up or anything. Like I said, we're going to talk about it. We're really going to get into it and get into everything. Like, I'm not giving up. Like, I swear, things just come my way and you got to tackle certain things head on. Um, for sure. So, anyway, that's all I wanted to say. I'm about to go get myself ready. It is now like 12.05. The place is probably like 15 minutes away from my house. So, I'm going to record me walking in there. I'm going to record me um, washing my face and stuff. And then, depending if the esthetician wants to be on camera, I'll let you know what she's doing as well. And like walk you through that process. And yeah, we'll see. 
So, I just left my house. Once I stopped recording, I realized it was 12.26. And I'm like, wait, it's 12.26 already? My appointment's in 14 minutes. I know me, I can get there in like 10, but I wasn't expecting it to be that soon. Because when I started washing my face, it was like 11.50. So how the hell they get that late so fast? But I'm walking to go get my car. It looks like there's a line right here. And then yeah, I'll see you guys when I walk into the glow bar. I feel like when you have lashes, it just makes everything look so much better. Yes, your eyes look like so pretty mm -hmm. now. I'm making a YouTube video. So this is my friend. I don't know if you want to be in it. Do you want to be in it? Oh, uh, okay. Hi, Hi, my friend. So she does all of my la all of my eyebrows every time. I just asked her to cut some more down so it could be a little lighter. Now this is my first time doing eyelashes, but they look amazing already. If you're ever in New York or Manhattan, she's located in Cinderella. She is on 125th Street between 7th and 8th. The New York girls know Cinderella, so definitely come check her out. Her name is Noshin, and she's amazing. Only person I let touch my eyebrows since I met her, so definitely tap in. All right, y'all, so I'm finishing up. I'm drying right now. I got a facial appointment in like 20 minutes, so... I'm just trying to let these shits dry as much as I possibly can. My eyes are watering crazy. My face is mad ashy, OD. But, um, yeah, I'm about to make my way to my facial appointment and wash my face. And I'm scared because I literally have to wash my face before I get my facial. So, I just hope no water touches my eyes. All right, so I'm here. Oh, it's so slippery at the glow bar. I'm early and I still got this tape on my eye because, yeah, I'm trying to make sure that these lashes dry. So, let's see. Hi, how are you? Thank you. So, I just washed my face. So I'm done with my facial. My hair looks so crazy, but don't worry. I'm about to go get it done. Um, the facial was amazing, very hydrating. I'm debating if I want to get a slice of pizza. I'm hungry. But um, yeah, they wasn't trying to take me, as y'all can see, or whatever, but they wound up taking me. I was so appreciative of that. Damn, I have to. I can't do that. But um, yeah, I'm so appreciative for them taking me. So now I'm on my way to go get my hair blown out in style by my favorite Dominicans ever. Um, I couldn't record much of the facial, like I said. Um, there's a lot of music in the background and they're gonna cut off monetization, monetization, whatever, you know what I'm saying. I won't be getting paid if I have that music because of copyrights and stuff. So as much as I wanna come back to YouTube, and show y'all everything i also want my coins so but the facial's good like the skin looks amazing so yeah we're just driving right now on our way i got these windows open and it's like 10 degrees outside like i'm freezing my hands are shivering but i still need these lashes to dry somewhat that's why i got this window down and stuff so but yeah i need something to eat a BLT kind of sounds good, but I don't eat pork or beef anymore. I'm only eating chicken and seafood and stuff. So I'm like, do I wait until I get home? But I also need something in my stomach now, like even a bag of chips. I really wanted a slice of pizza. That slice of pizza looked like it would have been good for my favorite place. 
but I couldn't stop traffic, so I'm over that. But there's another good place on 116th, actually. So I'm gonna actually go there, get me a slice of pizza. So yeah, I'm gonna go do that. Go get this hair done, and they're probably gonna be playing Mad Dominican music there when I well, Spanish music. Sorry, when I get there too, so I might not be able to record. But you'll see me when I'm done. And I was gonna do my makeup, but I told you my friends told me don't do no makeup, just like raw dog. Just spit no lube, as Chamel would say. So, yeah, we about to do that one. Do that one! Bitch, I got my slice of pizza. It's literally freezing outside, like, freezing ain't even a word. Oh my god I haven't had pizza In months Mmm Oh wow Oh, it's freezing it looks better when I left but I am now styled I'm gonna just wait for these curls to drop it'll look better in the video when I'm sitting down but she got me together the hair is layered and everything so now we're just waiting to go to my brother's house so we can do that video skin shining let's do that one i'm gonna see y'all real soon so as i was going up i ran into my mom she was coming down say hi to you too hello how are y'all <laughs> so now she in the supermarket stealing five. i'm not stealing anything. yes you are what's in your bag what tuna fish why are you stealing tuna fish cut it out this is the bag i'm shopping security with. Security my ass. <laughs> this lady is thieving. Chicken and broccoli. Ma, you said you was coming here for onion rings. Like. Get three. I'm going to definitely start recording me and her because she's just. She's a mess. She's a vibe. We're a vibe. Look, she's stealing. Come on, put it in the bag. Hurry up. Hurry up before security comes. But, um, so now we're just in a supermarket and she's getting whatever she's getting. And I feel like because my hair is done now, everyone's looking at me. Like, they ain't never see a baddie with red hair before. Oh, thank you. I didn't even hear you. She said I look beautiful. They are onion rings. Are you kidding me?